Hello everyone, Randy here, your coach of the Texas Rangers. We are here for week five of the PGBL. We are taking on in vivid color Josh, coach of the South Texas Sableyes, in our week in our rematch from week three. We just faced two weeks ago, not too long ago. This is rivalry week here in the PGBL. Everybody will be taking on their in state rivals, and if there's no in state rival, then they have just somebody that was pitted against them, so or pit against them. So anyways, now if you remember guys, two weeks ago we did uh, pick up a win. Now, if you haven't seen the battle, go check it out. It was definitely really a crazy one. But there's one huge difference between last week three and now. Um, as you can tell by my opponent's team, he has Mega Pert, Pelipers, Fortress, Clefable, Kingdra, Chestnut, Miss Magius, Magmortar, Garchomp, Heliolisk, and Celebi. Now, two weeks ago, Mega Pert was not out yet. <laughs> now it is. That beast is here and it's ready. And, you know, it's... It sucked that he didn't have it the first time, but quite, I mean, to be honest, I think I could have been able to handle it, but obviously we'll see if I can now, now that it's actually available for him to use, so, um, yeah, he has it, it's, it's here, um, it's gonna be a crazy matchup, that's pretty much the main difference from, like, this last time and this time, uh, it's always tough facing an opponent, um, twice, because, you know, they can always adjust and make changes and stuff like that, so that's always something that's gonna be difficult to, to play around, because we know how we battle now, pretty much, um, but, uh, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. I think we should be able to handle it. I think we can. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and go into our team here. So I am bringing the exact same six I brought from last time, but I am messing with the sets a bit. Now, if something changes, I'll let you guys know between the battle and now, because we're battling tomorrow. So um, just want to get this recorded because you know I have time right now. But um, type of thinking, of course, is my Spadef wall. The only difference between that, um, this time and last time is that I'm running Grass Knot over HP Electric because Moonblast hits Pelipper hard enough. Grass Knot's able to do a very good amount of damage to Mega Pert, so that's why I have that there. Um, no matter what I do, I can't avoid a two hit from Swampert if I run Bold Max Defense. Um, or it's really close to that damage at least. So I'm just using Feeny as my Kingdra switching, really. That's all this thing is for. It's to pivot around Kingdra. So nothing really to explain here. Um, yeah, next we have High There, our Hard Dragon. We are running the Haban Barrier defensive build. This is to get um, speed control. I think in order to beat this team, I have to keep speed control. I didn't really have to worry about that last time because I was just able to kill Kingdra. Um, I was able to play around it and eliminate his supporting cast before Kingdra became a threat. I killed Pelipper really early, so I really doubt he's going to play that reckless with, with Pelipper. He's definitely going to keep it around, I, I believe. So it's going to be important to have some sort of speed control to match those two beasts. So um, yeah, I do outrun. Um, I outrun a Modest Kingdra, so I assume he's running Modest Kingdra this time. He did last time, so I outrun a Modest Kingdra by one point without rain. Of course, with rain, I'll outspeed our one point as well. So um, just a standard set here for defensive. I got Tailwind Roost. Uh, Roost is kind of iffy, but it could be nice to get recovery in case I had to 1v1 for some rain stall, stuff like that. So there's that. Uh, nothing to explain here. We got Halls, the Weezing. This is my pretty much Swamper check as well. I am running Sunny Day on this. Uh, last time I was running, I believe it was um, Taunt for the Clefable. But I'm going to try to like not run Taunt this week and see if I can make it work. Um, I mean, that's pretty much all I got to say about it. 16 H special attack to ensure HP Ice, two shots, a guard chomp without any bulk. Um, he said he brought the wrong guard chomp last time. So I, I guess it made sense, but I saw Rock Slide. I figured it was correct, but... Um, I guess he needed like a scarf build. I'm not even 100 percent sure, but um, yeah, the citrus berry helps me out because it helps me like when we want the um the swampert. I know I can't touch swampert really, but I mean the whole idea is to get sunny day up, and the only move you can hit me with is waterfall, and waterfall in the sun does like relatively no damage to me, especially with my max defense build. So again, I'm not too 100 percent sure about the spread yet. I'll get some like feedback on it like later tonight and in the morning, and I'll um let you guys know what the changes are before we battle. Just uh, always a heads up there. Um. Yeah, that's pretty much it for Weezing. It's my guard jump and my his pert uh, switch in pretty much. It, MVP the pincer. Mega pincer put in a ton of work last time we, we fought. Um, it was able to one shot his Kingdra after a bit of chip damage, and you know it's just a very threatening mod that can you know do a lot of damage to his team. Assuming the speed control is in my favor. Now Swampert can eat some returns depending on his bulk. Now return does two hit if he runs no bulk, but he's been talking about how he really loves bulky Swampert. So I'm not sure what he's gonna try to do. I'm not sure if he's going to speed creep any of my lines, or he's just going to run full out 252, 252 with speed and attack, adamant. Uh, I'm sure he's going to run adamant. Uh, if he runs jolly, I mean, he's losing power. So, um, I'm not sure what he's going to run on that. I would imagine he's either going to run either going to run rain dance, or stealth rock as his fourth move. It's either going to be rain dance, earthquake, waterfall, ice punch, or something else along the lines of those moves. But I don't see him running any other set besides that. So, 
And he's gonna bring it. The first week it's legal, so he's gonna bring Mega Pert. He's been dying to use it for four weeks, so there's no doubt he's gonna bring Mega Pert, Palapur, and Kingdra. It's just a matter of like, all right, I'll talk about the team speculation at the end. But uh, I'm running the same spell as last time: substitute, return, quick attack, earthquake. I did consider running facade on sub because he brought toxic spikes last time. And if I were to somehow get poisoned again, then Pinsir would just be able to dominate. But um, I don't think he'll do that this time. So like. I think Sub's just fine, because Sub is also a really good move to have in case he, he ends up locking himself in the Draco Meteor. Then I can probably sub up and stall rain turns, so that's always nice to have. Um, you know, it's it's nice to have Sub just to like stop Clefable. It's, it can do Sub on the Fortress, so like it's a nice move to have, you know. I considered Swords Dance from last time, but like I said, I can't set up on any of these mons he has. Like I, It's hard to set up, so. Um, you know, this is the set here, which is pretty standard, nothing else to explain here. Uh, Maggie making her uh, another appearance. She did work last time as well. She was able to kill the Pelipper rather easily. Now I'm running Ice Beam, Flare Cannon, Energy Ball. Energy Ball and one shot guard. I mean the Swampert, Ice Beam for guard shot, Flare Cannon, Stab, hits everything else. Can't really touch Fortress all that well, but Fortress doesn't do much back to me anyway. And um, I do have Sugar Berry on here. Sugar Berry allows me to hit, live one Earthquake, of course. I would have ran something like Air Balloon, but I mean Waterfall and Rain probably does a crap ton of me, but. So I don't want to reveal that, like just have it wide open for him to just go for a waterfall. So I figured his first instinct will be to click Earthquake so I can just catch it off guard, hopefully. Now I'm running a lot of berries on my team, but I need, uh, I just need to be able to like kill his sweepers, his rain sweepers, and I should be able to win the game. So uh, that's kind of the plan there. I do have shift gear so I can outrun. I don't outrun a modest Kingdra or an adamant Swampert, but um, actually I think I also be an adamant Swampert. I'm pretty sure actually. I'm not even 100% sure on that, but um, I am considering messing with the set a bit. I think shift gear will work though. I'm gonna go for the speed here and try to like um, be able to like destroy. So that's kind of Maggie's plan. Um, yeah, I mean that's pretty much it. The moveset's here. It gets walled by like Fortress, but I mean I'm not really worried about Fortress at this moment in time. And finally we have Denise. Now Denise has been drastically altered for this week's uh, battle. I am running a special set simply because I can't really afford to miss a power whip on Swampert because Ice Punch always two taps me. So. Giga Drain, of course, one shots uh, most variants of Pert. He has to be running like almost max HP to live with Giga Drain, so I'm not really worried about um, him running max HP. Giga Drain, Heavy Slam. Now, get this get Heavy Slam with 31, I mean, with uh, a modest nature, with no investment whatsoever, it does like 67 to 80% to Clefable, max defense bold. So Heavy Slam is still a, real, a really, really good two shot on Clefable. Not worried about it. I'm not running the speed to creep it, but I don't need the speed because like the worst thing you can do is Moonblast and I eat those for days, or like Flamethrower, but. Flamethrower and rain doesn't make too much sense. HP fire, of course, is for that fortress. Rapid spin is to get away hazards. Although I do have defog, so I should probably change that. I didn't realize that till right now, so I'll get rid of spin here. Um, I guess I can't afford to run um, another move. I kind of want an anchor shot. That way I can trap mons and keep them in there. Um, I'll have to change that later. I just realized I have rapid spin and defog, so um, I'll just put down. I don't know, man. I don't know what I want on this, to be honest. I can't run Sunny Day, right? But I have Assault Vest, so that doesn't make any sense. Um, yeah, I'll just put a move down for now, and I'll change it later. I'll just put Anchor Shot, that way I have Trapping, but... I'll let you guys know when I end up deciding in the long run, but I'll just now notice that I had it here. But anyways, this is a very important mod to be able to deal with Swampert at full. I could deal with it as long as I'm above like 56%, 70%, something like that. Some weird brawl like that, so... Um, specials, it's only helpful because I don't want to miss Power Whip, so... Of course, Freezing is a thing, but I do have Terrain, so I don't really worry about the Freeze now. That's pretty much it for the team. Now, again, we, there's a chance. Like, he's he's 2-2 two two right now. I'm 4-0. There's a chance he can meet in playoffs. So, I do have a tech. I, I do want to save in case we fight again. So, I'm not trying to go all crazy with this matchup. Now, I feel like I do have, still have a good matchup. But, I do have one tech I can bring if we face again in playoffs. If we make like playoffs. So, this battle, I'm taking very seriously. But, at the same time, I'm, trying to, I'm, I'm playing a little bit more um, timidly. I'm not trying to... Um, reveal too much about what I can do with these bonds so um, it's gonna be a tough match now I do imagine he brings the same six except swapping out something for pert so last time if you look at the team to the right we have mega pert he's bringing that Pelipper he's bringing that Kingdra he's bringing that and then the other three he brought were guard chomp heliolisk and fortress now seeing as how heliolisk did no did nothing to me um, I, I mean, it did nothing, but I still think he's going to bring it because it's a way to take down Takafini. So I do think Heliolisk will show up. Now, it's between Garchomp and Fortress. I really do think he might leave Fortress back. Now, that could be a huge risk because Fortress is actually a really good mod against my team. Um, 
I mean, looking at it now, probably Garchomp doesn't show up, honestly, looking at it. So, yeah, I think Garchomp doesn't show up. The Mon I can see coming maybe is Celebi, but Celebi gets beat down by a lot of my Mons. So, Chestnut and Celebi are not coming. We know that for a fact. Miss Magius is a Mon. I might it could be a thing. I mean, um, he could. I mean, Clefable is probably going to show up. So, it's just a matter of what is he going to replace Garchomp with. Fortress Mon probably will show up, actually. But, um, like, if you were to pick between Fortress and Garchomp, I'm pretty sure he would pick Fortress just because of Pinsir being on a wallet. So, um, it's just a matter of what will he swap out Garchomp for. Because Garchomp's going to be with Mega Pert, obviously. So, um, that's the kind of thing I have to mess around with. It's just, what is he... Like, I'm not going to try to build for his whole team. Like, I'm building for the six he's going to bring, which is kind of risky. But I do think it's it's smart, given that he's going to be really tempted to use Mega Pert. So, yeah, let's go over it again. He's going to have Mega Pert. He's going to have Pelipper. He's going to have um, Kingdra. He's probably going to have Heliolisk, and he's probably going to have um, Clefable, because Clefable is good for uh, just for Hydreigon. So the last Mon is probably going to be that, um, it's probably going to be um, Fortress. So I would imagine Garchomp is swapped out. So if it's those six, I have a pretty good matchup. I have Feeny as my pivot from Kingdra. I have Weezing as my pivot from um, Swampert. And of course, Denise and Maggie can alert in Swampert as well. I'm not really worried about um, Kingdra. Now, I am, one thing I am worried about is he might not run Specs Kingdra. He might switch it up and go for a Z-move Kingdra. That can actually mess me up. Because if you were to run, like, Waterium Z or Dragonium Z, that could alter my team. That could destroy my team. Like, I can definitely see a, a, water, a Hydro Vortex. Because um, Specs is quite... Um, you can lose a lot of momentum, but... Um, you know, 9 times out of 10, he's going to spam Hydro Pump. Unless he sees my fairies down, so... That's something I will keep in mind. Anyway, that's the team builder for this week. Sorry I went a little bit more in-depth. I mean, the, the team builder was actually fast, but... I was just more speculating about what would happen in the game, so of course I will end it here. The battle will be starting uh, in a few minutes or a few seconds, I guess, from the video. So uh, yeah, if there's any changes, I will let you guys know before the battle begins. But yeah, that's the team here. Let's see if the Rangers can stay uh, undefeated, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the battle. Hello everyone, Randy here, back for week 5 of the PGBL. We're taking on in Vivid Color, otherwise known as Josh, coach of the South Texas Hayblies, in our rematch from week 3. Now. Just so you guys know, his beast is here. His beast has been released. So now the biggest difference between a rematch is that Mega Pert is is here. Excuse me. Uh, sorry. Um, we did manage to pick up a win the first time we faced because he didn't have Pert, but that wasn't the main reason why. I just, I mean, uh, it's just it was very underwhelming him not having his Mega. So that was kind of the number one reason. But I'm not gonna say that's the reason why I won, but definitely did hurt him a bit. Um, so we've already like started the battle, but uh, we had a bit of an error on. on on, on, on the battle, so uh, we're just gonna replay the first couple of turns. So if it seems kind of weird what we're doing, just completely ignore what we're doing for the first couple of turns, and I will let you guys know when to like pay attention again. So uh, yeah, once again, I'll leave all of his links down in the description below. It's been a uh, it's been a fun time getting to know each other because we you know we're from Texas, so like we kind of just been like talking about Texas in the off time. But uh, anyway, um, yeah. So the only changes from the team builder. Um, I did end up putting Facade on Pinsir over Earthquake because I never need Earthquake. Um, just, I never need it. So I opted to put that on there in case he has T-Spikes. But I do have the terrain, but just in case, you know, he did it last time. So I wanted to be safe. Um, and I also put um, Earthquake on Delmise over the... Um, over the... Um, the last we both looking for. I replaced Rapid Spin with, I believe, Anchor Shot or Shadow Ball. But then I swapped it out for Earthquake. Because Earthquake one-shots Heliolisk, even though I'm modest nature. So, yeah, it's... That's all I did for the team builder. Everything else is pretty much the same. Um, yeah, no, everything's the same. So yeah, there's that. So let's go ahead and get started here. Now I already know what he brought. Like we literally played the first couple of turns already, and uh, there's an error. So we'll just play the first couple of turns again. Um, but you know, for just for purposes of the video, I'll stay surprised. So uh, you know, this is already my third take. <laughs> so funny stuff. All right. So initially, I was very, very uh, um, surprised to see that. The heat, mo the heat more, the freaking uh, Magmortar. I let Feeny, right? Yeah, I let Feeny. Okay. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it's a, uh, <laughs> it's a crazy mod to think about because I didn't bring Earthquake and Earthquake obliterates, but I did find out later on the return does one shot anyway, so it doesn't matter. It's crazy. He would have to be like a lot, a lot of bulk to one shot, to not run shot with return. It's in it's incredible. But, um, yeah, because for some reason in my head, I thought fire resisted flying. So that's kind of the reason why I thought it was going to do a lot less. So, um, but that's just a dumb part, <laughs> mistake on my part. So 
We're okay with that. So um, he did wish first turn, so I'm gonna go right into my Delmise. On his wish. And then from here, I'm going to click Heavy Slam. On his Garchomp switch in. And I was very surprised to see Garchomp come back as well. Not gonna lie about that. Yeah. And then we do find out he is actually a defensive build with Rocky Helmet here on his turn. And then here I decide to go right into my um, my wheezing. Well, I definitely should have went Feeny, but I went wheezing instead. On his stealth rocks. Yeah, so we're almost there, guys. It's going back really quick now. Now that we uh, just uh, know what we're doing here, uh, get the rocks, and then here he goes right into his Magmordar. So that's the spoilers for what's going on here. But after, um, well, one more turn after that, and then we'll have the uh, the full game back into an even spot but as from these first couple of turns i'm already in a bad spot knowing that my mortar is here and that um well we think already taking damage and i need to get up rocks and you get them off the field but that shouldn't be too hard to do seeing as how Feeny doesn't really care about most of the mons but uh here once again i click hp ice on his surprisingly surprise move here was the um we'll see a click here in a second substitute so now knowing this he, the only setup move he can have is Belly Drum. He doesn't get a Nasty Plot, he doesn't get Calm Mind. So from here, now the game is is, is refreshed. From here, we're, we're good. Um, the only two, three moves I can see him having are Psychic, Flamethrower, and Thunderbolt. So I would imagine he does have Psychic. Although Flamethrower hits at me just hard enough, so I don't see why he would have it. But uh, from here, we're good. I don't want to risk going hard Feeny, so that's kind of the reason why I don't want to switch out right now. So I'm going to go for HP Ice again. We do see the Fire Blast. I do avoid, which is kind of clutch. Again, I am not risking Feeny right now. He could be Gigabolt. Another one breaks up, though. But then Bell. How much does Fire Blast do to me? Assuming he's modest. But I'd really rather break sub. Fireboss is a crap ton to me. But I'm sure he's got T-Bolt though. You know what? He has to have Gigable Havoc. I might have to sack Weezing here. I think that's the play. I think that's the only play. I, I, I really do believe that because I can't afford to let Feeny take damage. She can't let it happen. I cannot let it happen. This seems like a really bad play, especially for his pert, but I had no other play. I think I live a Gigable Havoc at Max Pedef, because I don't need Feeny anymore, seeing as he has a damn Magmordar, so. Um, I don't really care about Magmordar right now. I mean, uh, Feeny, I should say. Alright, it would have been nice to break sub, but that's fine. So the question is do I live a Gigable Havoc? He could have Focus Blast too, that's something. I need Hydreigon. Actually, I don't need Hydreigon. He's probably Focus Blast though, but that's something I have to risk. He could be all out pummeling as well. But, um, he's probably gonna risk Blast here. He does connect. This shouldn't kill, or might kill? Oh, it did kill. Wow. Okay, so, <laughs> we lost two of our mons really early here. But, um, we do know he doesn't have Psychic, but that doesn't mean that damn thing, so... I think I have to go Feeny and just get rid of the rocks, or just surf it up, or something. We still haven't seen an item. I think MVP has to come out here. 
One second, guys. I gotta answer this phone call. This might be important. So I, I gotta check it real quick, guys. It's just, it's important. I think I have to. <laughs> never mind that. It was never important at all. All right. So I'll just return here. Return should kill every time. Raid comes out. Yeah, I'm in bad shape, guys. I'm in horrific shape. Um, the getting up rocks doesn't make a big deal, but, like, I lost Hydreigon. Not that I needed Hydreigon as much as I normally probably would have needed to, but... The only bad thing is I can't take advantage of T-Spikes now. So here I'm doubling into my uh, Feeny. 100% right here. 1,000%. I need to get rid of these rocks. If he has Volt Switch, so be it, but um, I need to get rid of these rocks right now. Volt Switch would be a fantastic play on this part. I would just like lose the game right there. I'm pretty sure he's Gigable Happy with my Mordar. I'm like 100% sure. Ooh, that's not good at all. I am 1000% sure he is Gigable Happy. If he goes into it, there's no, there's like no denying it at this point. There's no way you can hide it, bro. There's no way. I do eat one though. I eat one. I'm pretty sure. I eat a Gable Havoc. He doesn't get Thunder. I doubt he's Solar Beam. I, I seriously doubt it when you're in rain. Although it could kill me. Solar Beam could kill. Uh, Z Solar Beam, I should say. Uh, all you know, the, the Bloom Doom. It still doesn't kill me though. Actually, it does because I hit tick full switch damage. But I'm in horrific shape here. Horrific. He has his E move. There's no denying it. He's 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 probably calcin it here. I'm getting bodied, but but we could have we still have a chance. We're not out of it yet. Um, although I did lose a Swampert check. <laughs> uh, just that Magmortar threw me off guard. That's where Belch screwed me over. That's where Belch... I, I didn't want to run Belch this week, but I just left it on there for some reason. I wanted the berry. Fairy tale. Alright. That's fine by me. I'm going to defog right here. There's no other play. I'm just going to defog. Uh, I'm just going to go for it here. If he wants to... I mean, that, that's fine by me. He doesn't have taunt. You're not faster either. You have to be running a ton of speed to outrun. Is he going to spam rocks here? He does wish. He's unaware. We know that. We know he is. We know it. I think I have to click Moonblast here, to be honest. I think it's the only play. But I kind of want to surf in case he brings in Magmordar for some crazy reason. He would die if he does that, but it could be a ballsy play on his part. Oh shoot, man. He did withdraw into what? Lotus. I forgot what that was. Oh, Pelipper. Smart. Alright. So the raid's here. That means the beast is ready to come out soon. I should have moon blasted, but it doesn't matter because the, the wish heals him up anyway. At least rocks were off. That's kind of important. That still doesn't good damage though because of the rain. Hurricane's gonna hurt, but I don't mind taking a hurricane though. Like hurricane does no damage to me. So uh I think I'm gonna spam Moonblast right here. He saw I had HP electric last time. He saw it. I'm gonna surf again. He stayed in, wow. Good damage though. Crit. Knock off. That's fine. Interesting move to have there. Uh, Moonblast kills, I think, from here. That's the play. He's got to be careful, though. He's got to be careful with, with my losing his Pelipper. This might kill. Will it kill? I hope so. Lose, but that's good. Stack drop. Roost, that's fine. Stalls ran out a bit here. That's what I'm doing. Knock off Roost. 
dual staff probably. No terrain. We spam blast or we go surf. I need to spam blast. Fairy tale? Alright. That's good. He's gonna pivot back. He's gonna pivot into Pelipper. He's Spadef too. Interesting. Um This Glow Fable is really annoying, to be honest. Um He get Thunder Wave here, that's an issue. You know, the good thing about this is that he's unaware, so if I spam Flirt Cannon, he's still going to take the same damage. That's the good thing about this. He has no switching in the Flirt Cannon, so, I mean, I think I just click it here. He has to be fearful of the, the steel move, too. Like, you can't just pretend like it's not a thing. So, I'm going to click Flirt Cannon right here. Like, that, there's no other play. There's no other play. I'm I'm in a I'm in like I'm in a bad shape right here. Like I don't see how I kill this clef until I injure it a bit more. He knows I like to run Z moves. Corkscrew crash is a real possibility. <clears throat> he could go hard pert. That could be a uh, that'd be a crazy play though. Like I think his best play is probably staying in, to be honest. And I wouldn't mind that. Granted, I'm not sure how much Floorcan is doing. Like, I don't think he's doing that much at all. Hell, he might stand in Thunder Wave for like predicting shift gear or something. But I just need to injure Clefable. I think Pinsir might be able to clean up this game, but uh, it's not looking good right now though. He has some good prep. Sub Magmortar threw me off a bit. Say ten. That's a smart play. How much did you do? Probably not much. Oh my goodness, so close. Hmm, that was a crit too. Uh, but, crap. Alright, but he is a bit neutralized a bit. Um, he probably has Gigavolt though, that's the problem. He probably has Gigavolt. I'm going into Delmise because fire moves aren't doing much to me right now. And he'll probably end up subbing too. Oh, Magmortar is a huge, huge problem. I didn't imagine it would be, but it was. Alright, so we'll just uh, quake right here. This should break sub, and of course fire moves aren't doing much to me. I have Assault Vest, and the rain is up. It does good damage, but that's something I'll have to live with. I gotta kill this Clef as soon as possible to have any chance at winning this game. Um... How much, the question is how much speed is he running? We don't see an item yet. I doubt he's max health. Let me calc this real quick, cause uh... But he could be, but I'm pretty sure he's a Z move. I don't know man, like... Let me see this. Feeny... Oh wait, okay, Flurry Cannon, let's check the damage on this. Flirt Cannon did a... Uh... Oh, he's not a Salt Vest. No Bulk. A crit did over half, I think. That's with no Bulk. I think he's running Bulk, though. I think he's running Bulk. I might go Feeny right here. I think he's running bulk on his. Feeny is faster if he's running no speed. I'm not sure if that's something I'm willing to risk right now, though. He does surf. I mean, he does sub again. That's a ballsy play. He has Bloom Doom or Gigavolt, man. I know it. I'm not falling for it. We scout now here, too. We scout. We don't see his uh, move yet. There it is. Alright, so we, we burned it. 
It was Gigavolt Havoc, as, as I predicted. Uh, it was either one, to be honest. Uh, Gigavolt's safer than uh, Bloom Doom, though. Alright, so let's see how much Thunderbolt's doing to me regularly. Doing no damage. It's doing no damage to me. Alright, so he's got to hit this too to kill me. Flamethrower. Or, or Fire Blast. So there's that. And we'll sack here. Alright, so Thunderbolt isn't doing much to me, so I can spam Surf here right now. Uh, I wish I had Taunt off Eni, though. I did wish I had Taunt. Uh, so we are... We are down 6-3 th three right now. We are getting demolished. But this game is not over yet. You don't count me out, man. You don't do it. I got my three beasts left. Let's see if we can make something happen here. This isn't doing that much to me. Because in his late game, he could get reckless. He could get reckless. Although, Pert looking like I can do some work. I'm not going to lie. I wonder if he would sack Mark Mordor. I think he would. I think he wants the damage. I'm pretty sure he's content with what he's done so far. I think he should sack here. I think he should. I think it's the right play. And get Clef in for free. Or even Mega Pert. Yeah, that's a smart play. Okay. I do live and I kill Mark Mordor. So we gotta kill at least. So that's good. Um, but believe it or not, Pinter can still come through. There's there's still hope. Like there's this game is not over yet. Um, he'd have to bring in something that's faster to kill me. Or maybe get some wishes off. Um, I think Chomp is faster with no speed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's no doubt. <laughs> if he opts to run like a tank chomp, which we know he does have right now. Chomp probably is the play, but And Magirna is faster if he's had no speed on it, which I imagine he has no speed. I would hope he doesn't go Chomp, though. Alright. I can live with that. Magirna's important right now to kill Pert. Um, I think I have to stay in. That's just my, my thought process right here. I kind of want to Grass Knot though, I'm not going to lie, but in case he brings in Pert, but that doesn't matter, that doesn't matter. I'm just going to Moonblast. I need McGurna at full to take an Earthquake, so. He does U-turn, that doesn't kill me, I don't think. Oh no, I'm at 5. I thought I was at like 15. <laughs> he knocked out my leftovers, that's why. So Pert can come in. The only problem is with this. Phelps, there it is. If I bring in Magirna, it's so obvious I have I have a Z move. I mean I have a, a Shooka Berry. I gotta pray he doesn't have uh he doesn't go for waterfall though. That's my only play. He has to be worried at some point. So like he does stay in. We have Shooka, we take this and we kill it in one hit. My only thing is, he don't go for Waterfall, and I'll be alright. We can live this, just don't crit me. We eat that too. Alright. And I am faster than a mid-speed chomp. I am. I am faster than a mid-speed chomp. Let me see this real quick. There's our boost right there. Um, obviously, Shift Gear could have been a play, but he's probably running at him. He's, he's going to be faster every time, I'm pretty sure. But you're not faster than me, though. We saw Rocky Helmet. He has to be running a lot of some speed to outrun me. Ah, oh, he is faster. That should be game, then. That should be game. That should be the game right there. He's running some speed, then. I'm running Timid Max, so... He must have been running some sort of speed. 
But uh, that should be game, unless I got a huge crit somehow. But, um... Wow, man. Magmordar put in the work. Um, I didn't prep too well around Magmordar, I'm not gonna lie. I was so content with with predicting the same four. But as I, as I said before, the advantage always goes to the one who, um... Who lost the first time. That's always how it goes. So, like, I think here my only play is to sub on his miss. Does he not have Rock Slide? Why does he not have Rock Slide? Alright. Well, that should be the game right here. I'll just go for the uh, return and just pray for something. But, um, yeah, if he wasn't running speed on Garchomp, I think I actually won the game because I one shot Garchomp. Um, I kill the Fortress and I kill the Pelipper, so the game would be over, but he's running speed. Which is the right thing. Which is the right uh, right investment. But that is going to be a good game. The Josh, I got completely demolished. Um, it was a fun game, though. I didn't prep very well, but um, I am confident that if we face him again later in the season, that I can... Um, you know, um, you know, amp it up a bit, but uh, we do take our first loss of the season. We are now four and one. Um, Mega Pern didn't do so much. It was more Magmordar, so uh, that's something I do have to keep in mind of. Keep in mind of um, next time we face off. But it was a fun game. I hope you all enjoyed. And yeah, well, uh, we are playing the I believe the New York Grumpigs next week. So uh, yeah, hope you all enjoy, and I'll catch y'all next time. Take care.